It's the 16th of November, and this is your Monday Microdose. Welcome back, friends. Um, this is one of those that I'm really not sure <laughs> where we're going to land. I've been thinking a lot about risk lately. Um, in that, you know, one of the things about COVID, if you live alone, I think particularly, is one of the good things is you've got a lot of time to kind of reflect and maybe work on yourself a little bit. And one of the bad things about COVID is that you have a lot of time to reflect and a lot of, a lot of time to think about the choices you've made in your life, which got me thinking about some of the decisions that I've made over the years and, and how it led me how those decisions led me to where I am now. You know, I mean, I bought a business. Uh, I closed that business and basically started a new business. I started a YouTube channel and I put myself out there on a weekly basis for, you know, potential uh, judgment and ridicule, although I will say that it hasn't happened yet, and I hope it never does, um, you know, but all kind of risky things to do, potentially. And while I would say I was not a timorous child, I certainly wasn't reckless either. Um, you know, I have a relatively healthy fear of heights, yet I've repelled off of 100 feet of rock. Actually, the one that was harder was I had to repel off of a, uh, a building, you know, a small building that was maybe only uh, 25 feet high. I'm trying to remember. But you basically had to lock in and then crawl over uh, the railing that was on the top of the building. <laughs> that was harder than the 100 feet of rock. I have a real fear of drowning, yet I got scuba certified and have, you know, and have no fear of, of the ocean to speak of. I mean, I, I mark my vacations by bodies of water more than landmass. So I grew up in the 70s, and, you know, certainly that was the beginning of the, the first BMX craze, but I didn't ride BMX. I mean, very few people at that point had BMX bikes. I had a Schwinn Scrambler. There it is. Uh, that is the exact bike that I had. Banana seat, uh, finger quotes, ape hanger, handlebars, the whole shebang. And as kids are wont to do, uh, we built some ramps uh, in the alley off of Euclid, right behind the X-Lines houses. You know the spot. And, you know, there were a group of us and we were, you know, taking turns hauling tail down the alley and jumping this ramp. And I remember vividly, and I was probably 13 years old at the time, I took off and as I was heading toward the ramp, one of my friends said, you better pull up. Because while I was at the other end of the alley, they had increased the angle of the ramp. 
and I didn't know this until I was already in the process. And as you might expect, I overshot the holy living hell out of that ramp and ended up ass over tea kettle going down the, you know, the alley that was full of gravel and rocks and God knows what else. And, you know, I don't know that I really have a point to all of this other than all of those decisions, I think, informed all the rest of my decisions. And I guess in a way, I've always been sense... Sensible yet adventurous. I didn't ask for that, but I do miss it. I've always been sensible yet adventurous. Look, I'm not going to start fancying myself as some kind of self-help guru, and I'm certainly not a philosopher, although I've read a fair amount on my Kindle. Um, But I thought I would just come in and share with you today some of the things that I've been going through, and maybe you've been going through some of the same things with all this nonsense that's been going on. I really appreciate you watching. A lot of you watch and comment every week, and that really means a lot. If you've got your notification bell uh, clicked and you're watching this on Monday morning, I thank you. Let's make the most of the day. Take care of yourselves and each other. And until next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon.